Hello everybody, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this tutorial, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, a little bright and sunny ombre buttercream cake with some palette knife flowers and I topped it off with some silk roses. So stick around, we'll get right to it. First thing we need to do is get our cake ready to be decorated. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my dark chocolate ganache to dam this cake. It's a four layer white cake with a buttercream filling. And I am just using, like I said, my dark chocolate ganache, which is just two parts chocolate to one part heavy cream, heated and then mixed together. And then let it cool until it is a consistency that you can pipe it. And do this through all of the layers of the cake. Now in real life, IRL, I do do a lot more with um, fillings and some fun things with flavors, but for um, video purposes, I'm just keeping it simple until I get to the point where I start sharing some recipes, which hopefully I will do that in the future. I'm gonna keep it simple for the videos because it's more about the decorating than the actual cake recipes, but we'll see. Maybe at some point I'll get to that. So go ahead and do this through your entire cake. And then once you get everything filled, go ahead and pop it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes or your freezer for, for 10 until it's set up a little bit. And then I went in with the same dark chocolate ganache. I heated it up just a little bit for maybe about 10 seconds just to because it had gotten too thick over um, the time that it was sitting and setting up in the fridge. So I just popped it in the microwave and heated it up 10 seconds. And then you have a more spreadable consistency. Now this is just my crumb coat and I'm just removing the excess and locking those crumbs in. That's what a crumb coat is. It's a thin layer of buttercream or ganache or Swiss meringue, whatever you're using, cream cheese, doesn't matter, to lock in your crumbs before you do your final coat of buttercream, ganache, cream cheese, whatever you're using. Now these are the colors that I'm using. Um, the way I mixed, okay, first I should say, I did do another coat of ganache. Um, I just didn't show that, but it's the same thing. So I am using a yellow, a pale yellow, and then an orange, and then a pale pink on the bottom. And what I did to coordinate these colors a little bit is I added a little bit of each color, like the, on the pink, I added a tiny bit of orange. And the orange, I added a tiny bit of yellow, just to get them to blend a little better. I, I don't think you have to do that, but I just went ahead and did it. I just wanted to do that this time. Do whatever you want to do. Use whatever colors you want to. And I'm just piping on an uneven line and um, smoothing off the excess before I go in with my, my next layer of buttercream. You, now you can go ahead and just use a palette knife to apply this since this does not have to be neat. I personally just have this thing about getting, I don't like having all that stuff on my hands. So when I can use a piping bag, I usually opt for that method. And I'm just removing the excess on all of these layers of color, just because it's, it's just a little easier to do the next step if you don't have too much buttercream um, piled on the side, uh, the sides of your cake. And you'll see what, I'm, what I mean in a second here. Make sure you put on a thick enough layer though that you have some playroom. So there's still quite a bit of buttercream on the cake. And what I do here to blend the colors is use, as you see here, use my offset spatula and I just kind of merge the colors together. Now you want to go deep enough with this so that you're actually merging the colors together, but not so deep that you scrape through and then end up having not enough buttercream. And I went in and I did pipe a little bit of each color into the other color colors, the ones that are next to each other, into the one that's next to it, just to get a little bit more of a soft blend. I didn't want to see the lines where one color ended and the next color came in. That wouldn't be an ombre. Ombre is a gentle transition from one color to the next, whether it be different depths of the same color or totally different colors altogether. Now I'm gonna start smoothing and removing the excess and getting it all blended. I love these colors together. To me, it's kind of a pastel-y um, sunset. It kind of reminds me of a pastel sunset. To me, it's a happy, these are happy colors. And spring, we're hoping for nicer, warmer weather here. Um, 
keep staying cool where I'm at. I don't know where you're at, but it's um, hopefully our weather will be warmer very soon. And this cake helped me get a little bit more chipper about it. And once you get those sides smooth, go ahead and pull your top rim into the top or into the middle to remove the excess buttercream. And this may take a couple turns. I don't show you how many times I actually turn this turntable around. It's a lot. So if you're having to scrape a lot, don't be surprised. That's, that's typical. Then I just cleaned up the board and put it in my refrigerator while I got the um, buttercream ready to use my palette knife technique. Not mine. <laughs> I didn't come up with it. The palette knife butter, uh, buttercream technique. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using the same colors and I'm just doing a, a thinner layer, medium to thin layer on a paper plate. You could use anything, really, so that I can use my spatula to kind of scrape it. You scrape both sides in, and then you can see there, there most of your buttercream is in the middle, not on the outside edge. So that when you pull your knife away, you place it down on your cake and pull your knife away, you are only left with not so thick edges. Does that make sense? And then just do this around your entire cake. And I wanted to go ahead and kind of mix up the colors a little bit. I didn't want to do all the flowers the same colors. I wanted to incorporate all the colors. You can you could do this however you want. Now I did kind of change up my palette knife a little bit. I used the longer one and then I used the smaller one too just to get some variation of texture in this, of size. And I went ahead and did these little, I don't know what to call these, layered up petals, I guess. Just to have some variation in um, sizes and designs throughout this cake. You can do all the flowers if you want to, but I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. And then I did add some dragees in the centers of those flowers just by dipping my finger in water, dipping my then dipping my finger in the dragees and transferring them onto the cake that way. Now, on when I'm applying these roses, I first I did do I wanted my original vision was to do all orange. But then I thought, well, maybe I'll throw some some other color in there and throw some of the uh, the pink in there as well. But you'll see, at the, and you might have noticed at the beginning of the video, I did go back and I took those out because I thought it was a little distracting, a little too much going on. So I went ahead and I took those out for my final, the final look. And I'm just using some of these um, leaves to kind of finish off the look and tie it together. Sorry about my shoulder getting in the way there. Sometimes I forget there's an actual, a camera actually filming. <laughs> And see, so you can see there that those pink ones were removed and I think it just brought more attention to the buttercream ombre and the flowers, but the palette flowers, palette knife flowers, a little bit more than putting too many colors in the roses. But you can do whatever looks good to you. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on the next tutorial.